So there are several ways that you can tape your shoe. The first one I'm gonna show you is with masking tape. So the purpose, as I mentioned, is to protect the sole of the shoe. And they have masking tape in all different sizes. I like to start from the center. But you don't have to tape it all the way because honestly, like this part, the, the shoe is only the, touching the floor over here. So it's not touching this part. And you wanna be extremely careful because first of all, these scissors are extremely sharp, but just in general, last thing you wanna do is like be cutting too fast and then you puncture the hole into the shoe because that just defeats the entire purpose of taping it because it's damaged now. And they don't know that you wore it out when you're not supposed to. <laughs> so take this masking tape. Well, you're gonna do this a couple times until you reach the edge and what you'll see is that there's bits of tape sticking out but this is when you want to be extremely careful because you're gonna cut off those pieces but like I said if you get the scissors on them then it's pretty much over as much as possible so as you can see when the model steps Set. Tape is going to get dirty, but not the bottom. So as you can see, these are kind of ugly sticking out and you don't want that in the photos. We want to make this less work, editing work as possible for the photographers because they're going to love you for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you're going to just carefully cut the edges. So because this is, it can be a time consuming process, because I'm only doing this one shoot, right. right? And you, of course, you're gonna have multiple pairs. So this is part of the prep work, and this is what I mean by, you're not just getting, you're getting paid for that one day you're on set. You're getting paid for all of this work that you do leading up to the photo shoot or to whichever project. So, all right, so that's one way. Yeah. Masking tape is just one way. Another thing you could do, let's say you don't have masking tape, you know what this is? Yes. Ooh. Roll. Ooh. Roll. Roll. So, they're not just for that. <laughs> you can actually, you know, in a pinch, peel one of these bad boys off to use as a tape in the meanwhile. Oh, I think I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely closer. <laughs> So you just mm -hmm. take this one, Thank and you. then we're gonna, again, carefully cut around it. So this is a really mm -hmm. cute bomb shoe. Mm -hmm. Do you ever require your models to bring their own shoes at some point? Yeah, um, well, like when I first started that, I didn't really know, because you can get a ton of clothes, but a lot of showrooms are still kind of slow to adding shoes to their inventory, so I would say, hey, feel free to bring some, so we have the more options, the better. Yes. Options, options, options is the name of I have a quick question. Yes. As far as transporting all of this stuff, yes. um, do you use just a suitcase and garment bags? Do you use the, the little ugly fabric wagon? Do you <laughs> use the little, the little hot dog cart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no stranger to doing the most. I have a suitcase. Because <laughs> I just, I feel like, okay, I'm going to use all the stuff and I'm gonna hate if I forget that one thing. So why not just keep it all in a suitcase mm -hmm. and take it with me when I'm on set? Mm -hmm. And then I have my fanny pack um, on me just to, you know, for quick side kit items. You're gonna carefully cut around. So that's another way. This is rubber. The sticky masking tape is not gonna stay on for long. And because it's so small, it's just difficult to yeah, cut it into the circle. Yeah. So because of the texture, this is very easy to yeah. clean versus like this. There's one last way of taping shoes is contact paper. So are we familiar with contact paper? Mm -hmm. This is renter friendly um, paper. So it's very easy to just stick and peel. And what you can do, let's say you didn't have lint roller or masking tape, take it back to the old school, you go ahead and <laughs> use a pen and just trace the bottom of the shoe. Mind you, when I was interning in like e-commerce, I would literally steam for like five hours a day. That's all they would have me do. Um, 
just a little fun fact. <laughs> so no task is too big or too small, especially when you're first starting out because style, um, steam like nobody's business. So trace the bottom of the shoe. And now it's in the exact shape, and you won't have to do the cutting around the edges that you would have that you would do with the other methods. So I cut a little bit inside the line just so there's no extra sticking out. So Ooh. as you can see, please. You did pick those two. So yeah, those are the three main methods of taking your shoes and protecting them.